Yeah, thanks for keeping them secure. Just hold that. Just hold okay. Okay. Yeah. Watch your head. All right, here we go. There you go. This, this is Orion, our first fully functioning prototype. And if I do say so, the most advanced glasses the world has ever seen. Um, you know, they, they need to be glasses. They're not a headset, no wires less than 100 grams. Uh, they need wide field of view, holographic displays, sharp enough to pick up details, <laughs> bright enough to see in different lighting conditions, large enough to display a cinema screen or multiple monitors for working wherever you go, whether you're, you're in a coffee shop or on a plane or wherever you are. And you need to be able to see through them. And people need to be able to see that through them too and make eye contact with you. Right? This isn't pass through. This is the physical world with holograms overlaid on it. Building this display is different from every other screen that you have ever used. And that is because it is not actually a screen. Um, it is a completely new kind of display architecture with these tiny projectors and the arms of the glasses that shoot light into waveguides that have you know, nanoscale 3D structures etched into the lenses so they can diffract light and put holograms at different uh, depths and sizes into the world in front of you. And all of that is directed by custom silicon and sensors that we designed and powered by a battery that fits in the arm of the glasses. All right, but moving on to another thing. This one I think is actually probably the biggest AI news that we have today. We are adding natural voice interactions to Meta AI. Um, and you don't have to wait a while. We are rolling this out today and over, over the next few days. Um, I think that voice is going to be a way more natural way of interacting with AI than text. And probably, I think it has the potential to be one of, if not the most frequent ways that we all interact with AI. Um, it is just a lot better. So now you're going to be able to have natural voice conversations with Meta AI across all the major apps. You got you know, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, Facebook. Um, we want to make this fun. All right, so in addition to the different system voices that we built in that I think are, are, are pretty good, um, we've also worked with some of the most iconic voices out there to bring them to Meta AI, like John Cena, uh, Judy Dench, Kristen Bell, uh, Keegan Michael Key, and Aquafina. Um, should we try it out? Yeah. All right. Hey, are live demos hey. risky? Live demos can be risky, yes. They can be unpredictable, prone to technical issues, and potentially embarrassing. However, they can also be engaging, All right. memorable. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Go for it. Just be prepared for anything to happen. Fingers crossed. Thanks, Aquafina. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. One more creative tool that I want to highlight is we are experimenting with automatic video dubbing on Reels, uh, starting with English and Spanish. Um, so this is going to be a way that you can see more of the content that's out there, no matter what language you speak. And as a creator, this is going to let you reach a lot more people around the world, no matter what language you speak. So now you're going to be able to take your content, and it's going to be in your authentic voice. Um, speaking other languages if you want. And we're also doing automatic lip syncing, um, so that way it actually looks like you are speaking the other language. So let's check this one out. De coco, banana y dulce de leche. Esta receta fue una de las primeras que subí a las redes. Hace poquito la volví a descubrir y le hice un par de modificaciones para que sea aún más deliciosa. With coconut, banana and dulce de leche. 
This recipe was one of the first ones I uploaded to social media. A little while ago, I rediscovered it and made a couple of modifications to make it even more delicious. All right, so glasses, are, they're kind of the perfect form factor for AI, right? For letting an AI assistant see what you see, hear what you hear, be able to communicate you, with you privately um, so it can help you out with whatever you're doing throughout the day. All right, so first, we're making it more natural and conversational. So now, instead of having to say, look and tell me when you want to use the camera or use multimodal AI, um, you're just going to be able to say, you know, hey, Meta, uh, what kind of smoothie can I make with these? And instead of having to keep saying, hey, Meta, every time you want to talk to it, um, you're just going to be able to keep the conversation going. So small improvements, making it a lot better and easier to use. All right, next, we are adding the ability for the glasses to help you remember things. So, if you're heading somewhere, you know, no more forgetting where you parked. Now it'll just help you out with that. Your glasses have you covered, and they can also you know, remind you to pick up those avocados when you go to the store, so you can make that smoothie. So, uh, MetaAI on your glasses is gonna be able to translate for you in real time. So if you're talking to someone who speaks Spanish or French or Italian, you're gonna be able to hear it in your ear in English. And if you want, we have the mobile companion app that can translate what you say back to them um, in their own language. This is the new MetaQuest 3S. <laughs> High quality mixed reality for $2.99. <laughs> Hell yeah. The bottom line here is that Quest 3 is the best family of mixed reality devices out there, period. 